So you're using the hands as grips, but you're really pushing with your legs in order to get the vertical motion going. What clothes can you wear? I'm, I'm obviously in street clothes. Girls usually wear like the same type of clothes you would wear for yoga, I, okay. I would say. Guys climb in anything from shorts, track pants. Uh, a lot of guys climb in jeans, which is not the best thing, but uh, it does help against the abrasion on the wall. Climbing, like other sports, have special shoes. The way a climbing shoe is made, it's very tight. Okay, so you want to be wearing usually a one size smaller than your regular shoe size. The bottom is made of rubber, so what this does is gives you a lot of grip. Your foot can stick on very small holds. Why do you want to wear shoes that are smaller? To give you more arch support. Because they're small, it's kind of the ballerina concept. Their shoes are very, very tight. The toes are kind of bent in the front. Then you can put your foot on a very small hold, put a lot of pressure on it. Whereas if you're wearing really big shoes, your foot's going to move inside the shoe and then you have no arch support. I think it's time to get in the harness. Rental harness goes around your waist and you want to be putting it above the hips. So you can see here with the buckles, I'm going back a third time to make sure that it's not going to come loose. So the next thing to go on is going to be your chalk bag just to prevent the sweat from making you slip off the holes. Put on a little bit of chalk on their hands. So we'll put this around your waist towards the back in the middle so you can reach with both hands. The next thing we're going to use is a belay device. This particular belay device is called an ATC which stands for Air Traffic Controller because this is what you're doing when you're down here. Okay. You're deciding who comes up, who goes down. So this goes on the rope. The rope is tied to a beam at the top there, and we are going to clip this in to the rope. Once that's on, we are ready to tie you in. Okay. So uh, this is uh, what we call the figure eight knot. We have a nice eight, and then we go into the harness here and here. Before we go up, before we do any procedure, we always double check each other. So what I'm checking for is that your figure eight knot is tied in properly to both places on your harness. All the, your buckles are doubled back and your harness is well adjusted. On my side, what you want to be checking is that the carabiner is locked. Make sure my buckle is also doubled back. And then just make sure that this is passed through correctly in the ATC. You want to make sure the rope just goes straight up, straight down, no twist. As you're climbing up, I'm going to be belaying you. So that means that I'm holding the rope as you go up. So I'm gonna do a four step system that always lets me hold the rope like this. And you can feel the tension coming into your harness. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try to keep you just a, not that tight, but just a little bit tight so you feel safe when you're going up. Obviously, you're gonna look around for the holds. You wanna use the bigger ones for your hands and the smaller ones for your feet. If you're trying to hold a rock that's way too small, that means that it's probably for your foot. That being said, don't think about anything too much. Just try to climb and enjoy yourself. That's it. Good. Good stuff. Okay, now what you want to do is lean back, and now I'm going to lower you, but you just use your feet to push off the wall. How does it feel? Uh, that was good. I took them all up there. I'm very sure of my mortality. <laughs>